<clears throat> can we start work early today? Oh, dear. It's not even dawn yet. You can go to work when the rooster crows. Oh, go back to sleep. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, sir. Excuse me, but it's nearly dawn, and I'm sorry to disturb you, but it's nearly dawn, and I wondered if you'd mind crowing just a few minutes early this morning. Get out of here. Uh, but we'll see. I just get lost. Oh, okay. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! <gasps> understood why the sheep called all dogs wolves, and he was filled with a deep and terrible rage. Home pig. Fly knew that there was only one fate for any creature that took the life of a sheep on Hoggett Farm. I could never believe that Babe was a sheep killer, so she remained in the field to do something she'd never done before, talk to the sheep. Tell me, who killed the old one? Wolf! Oh, Is that the only words you have wits no? Wolf. Are you saying it was a dog? Babe! Where's Babe? Was it Wolf or Babe? Where's Babe? Farmer Hoggett was carrying something in the crook of one arm, a kind of black, shiny tube. Come, pig. The pig had a vague memory that shiny tubes produced food and guessed that some quite unexpected surprise would come out of the two small, round mouths. Fly decided to speak very slowly, for it was a cold fact of nature that sheep were stupid, and no one would ever persuade her otherwise. Please, please, would you be so kind as to tell me what happened? Shh. Please, tell me what happened this morning. 
The sheep spoke very slowly, for it was a cold fact of nature that wolves were ignorant, and nothing would convince them otherwise. They came! He saved us! The wolves killed Ma! But Babe drove the wolves away! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you all very much! Pleasure talking to you. the telephone said there are wild dogs about. Apparently, the Mitchells lost six lambs this morning. What on earth are you doing with that gun? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> 